Hi guys. And welcome to our live kitchen tap takeover. We are in La Jolla right now in our perch showroom, one of our four, four Southern California showrooms. Um, we have Chef Laurent here today. He's going to be everyone. cooking some French inspired meals on our Wolf appliances. Uh, Chef, what are you cooking today? All right, so today we're going to do a little bit of French influence with a uh, local and uh, ultra local because we have a beautiful uh, garden at Rancho Bernardo Inn. Mm -hmm. So we got all the herbs, we got the beautiful grapes, some apricots, all growing on property. Uh, so we use that to do uh, a salad and a nice uh, local white sea bass. Beautiful, okay. So we have two sponsors today that we're gonna be talking about. Here we have our plum dispenser. So this actually preserves your wine for 90 days. The really nice thing about this is you can actually cork your wine real easily. So we're gonna go ahead and, I already have some wines in here, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put in your wine. So we're gonna go ahead and go to general. I'm gonna open this up. So we're gonna open the door for you. You're just gonna pull it down. So we have two of our wines. So I actually have a Petite Syrah in here and a Rosé. So this is dual temperature, so which means you can have different wines in here at the same time and set the temperature differently. So we're gonna have our red here and of course our Rosé is gonna be a little um, colder. So what you do is what you do is you insert your wine here with the label up because it actually has a camera that's gonna read the label for you. And it's also going to give you details about the vineyard that it comes from, uh, what temperature you should keep it at. And just like little cool details about wine that you probably don't even know. Sometimes you'll get bottles of wine that you have no clue where they come from. So this is a nice way to kind of educate yourself on wine. So when you insert it there, it's actually gonna just gonna quickly stick a needle inside of there so no oxygen ever touches your wine. And, and the good thing about that is it's not gonna ruin the flavor. So even if you have your wine, if you taste your wine the day one, it's gonna taste the same as that day 89 exact same flavor there's not going to be no changes in flavor so that's really nice when you're having a party and there's people who are drinking different bottles of wine there's only that one person who likes let's say i don't know moscato or something um they're going to go ahead and have that wine and you don't have to worry about wasting it or dumping it um, they, they could come over again in a week and it's going to be totally fine so we're going to insert it here and then we're going to go ahead and close this all right so we are not connected to Wi-Fi, but this is, will tell you the details. So this is from, Pi, Pi, we actually, another sponsor is Pinetto Wines. Um, so this is a winery that's based in Paso Robles, family owned. It started by a father, um, Mr. Pinetta, and then now his daughter, Caitlin, is a winemaker there. Um, so she recommended these two wines for us, the rosé, which we paired with the salad today, which is a little lighter, crisper rosé from a Syrah um, grape. Uh, so this is low maintenance. Uh, this wine is very fruit forward. Uh, it's made, it was preserved in sandstone barrels. So what that's gonna give you, it's gonna give you more of a uh, acidity and the crispness, crispness to it. It's picked at a lower alcohol level as well too. So all this stuff would be on this, would give you all that detail. So it's really nice to have that. Um, you can just have it at the fingertips. Uh, it also, so this right here is telling us that you want it at 46 degrees and you could go ahead and set it lower or higher if you'd like. So there's a little control to it as well. This is a standalone one that we have and you can actually get this built in. It's gonna go into like where your oven would go. There's a trim kit that goes with it, just insert it in there. So if you want to have your coffee maker and your wine maker right next to each other, that's really nice to have as well. Um, if you're, kind of, you're thinking like, where am I gonna put this on my countertop? I know a lot of people like to have countertops uh, space free. So that's also an option. It's coming out in about a week. So that'll be available for you as well. So another wine that we're featuring today is our Petite Syrah. It has big rich flavors of lavender and cranberry. It's fun to pair with different dishes that you normally wouldn't pair with it. Most people think red wines are paired just with like red meat or anything like that, but this is really nice to do with salads, goat cheese, um, you could do roasted vegetables with it. Uh, Caitlin actually told me that they once did it with uh, blackened salmon. So things that you normally wouldn't pair with it, super versatile. It's not super acidic. It can be used as a cocktail wine as well. You could actually choose your pour amount. So you could do a taste, one ounce. Um, you could do up to a glass. You could do five ounces, up to nine ounces in case you're having a really bad day. Um, but today, you know, we've had a good day. So I'm gonna do five ounces. And also you could choose to enable a pour countdown. So what that does is once you hit pour, it's gonna count down three, two, one, and then you could go ahead and set your glass just in case you forget. You don't want that wine to waste. Nobody wants wine to waste. And uh, no, you cannot just stick your head down there and <laughs> drink some of that wine. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do five ounces. And I'm gonna choose the, the Petite Syrah. So pouring wine in three, two, one. 
And in case you want to cancel, you're like, oh no, this is not the one I want. And you can actually put cancel pour and it'll stop pouring for you. Super quiet, like you can barely hear anything, just a little beeping when, once it's done. Um, they actually use the same motor as a 7 Series BMW. So what the motor they use to move the car seats that you could move up to th th 300 pound person is actually the same motor used in this one. So very high quality engineering for this. All right, so we have our nice pour and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to pour the rosé. Five ounces. Pouring in three, two, one. So we have a rosé. And then the machine actually notifies you how much ounces are left in the bottle. So it'll tell you you're down to like 24 ounces or you're at your last pour as well. So we have our rosé. And with this promo for joining us today, you actually get $100 off. And we're also shipping uh, anywhere in the continental US for free. So make sure you take, you take advantage of that the promo for today. So now we're gonna get on to cooking, back to Chef Laurent. So we're just gonna start with the endives right here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use the direct flame to roast them. Okay. Just give it a little So you're gonna need really flavor. nice hot you're gonna eat in the hot pan, right? No, we're gonna use the, the, the flame. Oh, the directly on the burner. So those yes. are 15, uh, this is a double stack sealed burner. So it gets super higher highs, you get lower lows. So you can turn that down to a simmer, turn it up to, to like he is doing right now. He's gonna burn those, get a really nice char on that, so. And I love this this uh, range. It's super easy to clean just because the burners are nice and sealed. So if anything of that gets on there, don't even worry about it. It's gonna be super easy to clean. Okay. What we got going on. So we're just roasting the endives right now. And then... We're gonna be using the steam oven as well today. Uh, Wolf has many different appliances that I love using, but one of my favorite ones is actually the steam oven. We're gonna throw some asparagus in there, right? Just give yes, a quick asparagus steam. and the beautiful squash that we have right here. Uh, have you ever used a steam oven before? Uh, not that one, but... I heard a the lot of good things, ones, so right? yes, yeah, the commercial one. <laughs> the commercial, which is pretty similar. These actually start commercial and then now they're in your home. I love them because it holds 20% more of your nutrients. Uh, it goes from steaming rice to, to baking cookies. You do a roast in there, slow roasting, anything you could think of, anything that a regular oven, your steam oven can do. And a lot of people get super confused with the appliance. They're like, oh, I could only steam in there. You actually do so much more in there. Um, so come to Perch, come check it out for yourself. We do demos, we could actually cook food in there. So today we're just gonna be using steam and I think he's gonna finish off the asparagus on the stove, which is a really good trick to use. Just gonna give some nice color to the apricots mm -hmm. and then uh, throw some of the wine and the honey vinegar. We get uh, to work a lot with our um, own um, uh, gardener. Mm -hmm. So as soon as she gets some beautiful product available for us, we try yeah. to use it. Uh, Is it the mostly menu. the product from your garden at Rancho Bernardo? Um, we we utilize all the garden, but it's not sufficient enough some for some bigger events, of uh -huh. course. But we we try to use it as much as we can. Um, so we got the three uh, dining location. We have a veranda, which is uh, seasonal, and um, we have a huge patio, which right now can accommodate a lot of people, especially with what's going on right now. Yeah. And then if you're looking for a more uh, uh, creative and um, uh, seasonal dishes, we have Avon. You also have a grab and go, uh, Cafe Granada. And then um, when you're playing our 18 hole uh, golf course, we also have a, a grill right there where we serve uh, beautiful Ooh. sandwiches. Smells good. We don't want them to get too mushy. We're just gonna reduce that down. They're gonna get the wine and the vinegar. It will be perfect for the, to balance the salad. And how's that heat for you? You think that's good? This is yeah, nice. it's would perfect. Would you use this in your restaurant? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so this really interesting thing about this rosé, um, if you look at the labels when we showed them over there, uh, Caitlin actually designed that, that label herself. She kind of wanted to give it a fun kind of summer vibe on there. Rosé does make you think about the summer and all that good stuff. Um, and then she was telling me that the petite Syrah, the unique thing about it is that you can actually pair it with things that you usually wouldn't pair it with. So today we're actually doing fish and a lot of people when they think of red wines are like, oh, let me just do heavy meat items. But she was saying that it's really nice with salads, 
Uh, really nice with goat cheese. Uh, she also said they've done like some blackened salmon to go with it as well. Uh, so it's a very unique, uh, versatile wine compared to the cab or, or a different kind of red wine. This is very user friendly. <laughs> so that's, she was telling me a little bit about that. Okay. Okay, we're ready to play the end salad? salad. Yes. All right. So do you find plating food hard? Or is that kind of like your favorite thing to do at the end of uh, cooking something? Um, that's the fun part, you know, that's the yeah. end. Uh, the creative of, side. Yeah, right? exactly. But um, that's right before it goes to the guest. And when you see the plates coming back empty, that's, that's, that's what's sign, really, right? yeah, that's what really <laughs> makes us happy. All right, so we got a really nice char on that. Yeah. yeah. I wish uh, you guys behind the camera, you could try it, but it's nice and pickled. Right now, the apricots. So it's just like a quick pickle, right? Yeah, like yeah. A... You don't want to lose too much texture of the, the apricots. Okay. okay. I like it. And then right now, the, the melons are in season. They're amazing. So we got some beautiful uh, California melon. It's called Sugar Kiss. Mm -hmm. So we try to work as most as possible, like I said, with the garden. But and seasonal. Le locally, we, we're lucky we got a beautiful huge state of California that can provide us with a lot of delicious yes. products. Oh, it's beautiful already. Okay, and then we're going to add some prosciutto. So this is a salad someone can make at home. Our viewers can make yeah, this at Yeah, home. that's it's the point. I'm trying to do right? something that you guys can uh, recreate at home, you know. Hopefully we have a beautiful stove like the one we're working yeah. on right now. And if you don't, you come to Purge exactly. and Purge a beautiful stove yes. like the one we have. <laughs> Like insert promo. <laughs> and we got some moonlight goat cheese that's also from California. Oh. So you're just shaving that on top? Yes. Okay. And then I got some pistachios right here just for Ooh, fun careful. color. Careful when you try this at home, it might take yes. your fingers with you. <laughs> Make sure you drink the wine after, not yeah, before. Yeah, okay? not before. Make sure this is done before your three or <laughs> bottles of wine. <laughs> and this is all just two two pans on your range, or only one pan. You only use one pan, but he just did it directly on that burner. Yeah, and then we made a pistachio oil, balsamic, and a homemade a whole grain a vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Those are some beautiful colors. Yeah, and then. I didn't mix it too much, so it's going to break a little bit. So you're going to see the beautiful pistachio oil. Voila. Love it. OK, so this one was pretty quick. We got our first appetizer. Uh, yeah, with the, with the rosé. Yeah. And then now we can go on the we're going to go on to the main course. So yeah, this is our rosé goes with this one. It's a very nice crisp rosé to go with that salad. Looks beautiful, chef. Thank you. Mm -hmm. OK, so we're going to do a white local sea bass. Uh, local is from the Channel Island, so it's not too far from us. So just using this little pan right here for the steam oven. Has the holes in it so the water drips down. Just going to set that on there. How long do you, you think wanna this You want to put the for? squash as well uh, with the oh, asparagus, yeah. please? Oh, yeah. They're in season right now. They're beautiful. Penny. These are the penny. Are these the penny pan squash? Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. We're just gonna use the, the steam uh, to give them. Uh, so like about uh, three yeah, minutes. Three or four maybe? minutes, okay. and then we finish finish them on the stove. All right. It's a little bit of butter, some we herbs. Yeah, free facial with these steam ovens. So if yes. you're interested in purchasing this, you get also get a facial to go along with it. <laughs> so basically, it's just a beautiful uh, yellow cauliflower that we chop uh, tiny by hand. Or you can use a Robocoop, Robocoop if you have that at I home. I have at home, yeah. I put a little bit of water to cook it down. And uh, one of my favorite uh, French uh, liquor is Pernod. Mm -hmm. Not too much. So that could be like your substitute for like a Italian risotto that has like... Yeah, wine, it's, like more, it's a healthier wine. version. It's so hot these days, so I don't think nobody wants like a heavy risotto right yeah. now. Does that cook pretty fast? Yeah, it's pretty fast, yeah, and it's pretty, as soon as you turn in low, it's pretty versatile. And again, this gets super low, so it's great for a risotto. If you have a risotto and you need kind of that low heat, this works great for it. I have experience with this, uh, with this actual range is 
I've done like mashed potatoes or I've done like a mushroom soup and I've actually left it on there for about six hours on that super low heat and I did not get any burning crust on the bottom of the pan. Super easy to clean after. That's one of my favorite things about Oops. it. And if you have a griddle as well, that could also be a pan warmer. If you want to get some space on there, use some other burners. You actually put some pans on there and keep them warm. Keep your side dishes warm, your rice or anything like that while you're cooking your other, other proteins. And we're using this oven on this side right now, but you, these actually have two production electric ovens on the bottom. So if you want to use that as well, you can. We're gonna get that pan ready with a little bit of butter and oil to make like a glaze for the veggies, just to finish them once they're out of the steamer. Mm -hmm. Got some nice unsalted butter or salted? Unsalted. Unsalted. Yeah. It's easier to add salt than, than to, to remove away. it. Yes. <laughs> and then, whoop, well, doesn't just sell, you know, ranges and ovens actually have a line of refrigerator sub-zero wolf they have their cove line which is their dishwashers as well um i don't know if you've ever used their fridges but it's great to preserve it's one of the best fridges i've ever used to preserve uh, some of my food and they're very known for that then we're gonna reheat a pan okay to give a good sear on the fish so what i like to do when i sear a fish to get a beautiful skin mm -hmm. is to get the pan really hot which is pretty easy like that and then as soon as we drop the fish we lower the heat so it doesn't burn and it gets kind of crispy. And then we're gonna finish in the oven at uh, 380 for about uh, six, seven minutes. Yeah, and that Beautiful oven, fish, yeah. nice sea bass. And we have the oven on convection mode right now. So what that is, so Wolf actually has this cool, unique way of doing their fans. You have double fan, double fan mode. So what that does is it's gonna distribute the air in there evenly so you can get really nice browning on that fish. If you have three pieces of fish, 10 pieces of fish, you're always gonna get that really nice uh, even browning. And even if you have three trays of cookies in there, you could cook it all at the same time. Instead of just doing one, having to rotate it and all that, all that good stuff. Um, so we have it at 380 and if you have a regular oven at home, technically that's about like 400 degrees on just a regular bake. Oh, and that's our steam oven. All right. All right, careful, careful. If you don't mind to put them in the pan. Here you go, you found my second yeah, stash of towels. <laughs> I'm always watching, All right. I'm watching everything that goes on in my kitchen. <laughs> okay, so you want to go ahead and put those in there? Yeah, sure. All of it? or Yes, please. All right. I don't know if you can, unfortunately you cannot smell that, but the perno reducing right now, it's really good. Nice fennel, fennel smell. You said fennel? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's from the, the liquor. The perno, right? yes. So you got your vegetables. Seasoning. You have that at low heat right now? Yeah, just uh, they're already cooked pretty much okay. on the steam, so you want to just, just finish them. Just butter in there. Get that. A little bit just to make them nice and shiny. We're going to add some garlic. It's quick smash. Yeah. Hulk smash. Don't that do that with your <laughs> glass of wine. Or you're gonna spill. And then uh, some thyme. All this from your garden. Right? Yes. It's beautiful. So the pan is getting really hot, you can tell. Just gonna put a bit of oil. Okay. And for those of you who don't know where Rancho Bernardo is, it's about, what is it, 15 minutes Yeah, 15 from minutes from here, yeah. Yeah, 15 minutes from Beautiful, La Jolla. Beautiful uh, resort on 265 acres. Uh, there's so many activities that you can do. It's really good for a, a relaxed staycation, you know, with your kids uh, or kids your friends. Family friendly. Yes, very much. So how important is it to have a really good stove at home and really good pots and pans? Is that super important? It is yeah, very it important. Is? Oh, okay. Just yeah. <laughs> the better equipment you have, the more fun you're having while you cook and you want to cook more, impress your friends. Yeah, especially if you're having a party, you don't want your stove to give out, your oven to give out on you. And uh, Wolf is actually, their quality control is, is really great. I mean, they rarely have any issues. And if you do have an issue, they'll send somebody out there real quick to fix it for you. So that's always that little peace of mind that you want to have when you get something installed in your home. That smells so good. I'm getting hungry, y'all. <laughs> so again, you see I lower the, the heat under because yeah. uh -huh. the pan is really hot. Now we just want to make sure the, the skin uh, 
uh, doesn't attach. Mm -hmm. That's why we want a really hot pan. And now that it's low, it's just going to get crispy, nice and slow. We're going to finish in the oven. So all the liquid is pretty much evaporated from the result over here. So this is actually going to pair with the petite Syrah, which again, you wouldn't normally pair with fish, but this is a great wine to pair yeah, with fish. Yeah, no, I used it to, to make the, um, uh, the pistol right here. So I use um, some uh, cayenne pepper, from, mm -hmm. sorry, some espelette pepper from south of France, uh, roasted pepper, um, pine nuts, mm -hmm. and uh, olive oil. So how long usually do you let that skin sear on there? Uh, three, four minutes. Uh, as long as you have a, a low heat like that, well controlled, uh, it's not going to burn. You just want to make sure it's nice and crispy when you turn it around. Mm -hmm. And you could get that with this, with this range. You're going to get that really nice control and that's why I love see? it. See, it doesn't attach. You can see it's nice and crispy already. Yeah. Going in the convection oven. All right. 380 degrees right yeah, now. Yeah, for like seven to nine minutes. So now that the liquid is uh, evaporated, we're mm -hmm. going to have a bit of cream just to bind everything together. And then some saffron to reinforce the beautiful yellow color Ooh. and the flavor. This would be a really nice color. Tell so, us a little about your background. Where do you come from? Okay, so I come work? from a beautiful <laughs> city of Strasbourg in Alsace, France. Came here in 2007, and uh, luckily for me, uh, I ended up at uh, Rancho Bernardo since last year, and I fall in love with the resort you know, as soon as I walked in. It's just so welcoming, and uh, the ground is just amazing, you know? Yeah. And then when the GM showed me the, the back, the, the garden, the chef garden, I'm like, You're okay, like, where, where can there. I sign, you know? <laughs> Where do I sign? Yes. So any any of you guys are welcome to come <laughs> and say hi. You can try the food for yourself. Hopefully you guys are having a little bit of wine as well. Cheers. Cheers. Thank cheers. you so much for joining us again today. Mm -hmm. mm. He did it the right way. He smelled it. I just like went straight for it. <laughs> that is nice. How's that? Nice temperature too. Yeah, it's perfect. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna leave that with mine right here. No one else drink that. <laughs> so I just added some Parmesan, in the risotto. I'm gonna take a look at the fish. I'm gonna get a couple more minutes. All right. Then we will finish ready. it with a bit of butter We're in the pan. Almost ready to eat. Some herbs. <laughs> So, so far, how's your experience been with this appliance? It's great. Yeah. Um, it's nice to have a, yeah, such power with the touch of a, a button, you know? Yeah. It's really nice. So that's the pistol. Mm -hmm. So I used the um, espelette pepper, some of the red wine. And that served cold? Olive oil, yes. Okay. Our room temp, it's room fine. temperature. And then basically, we're just gonna spread it like that on the plate. You can use just a spoon at home, or if you have a little comb like me, Ooh, and do something, something fun like that. Nice. It's just gonna be some nice uh, summer color. It's the red, the yellow cauliflower, beautiful veggies, the nice fish. Okay, so the fish is really nice right now. It's Ooh, look at that. really crispy. Some it. people don't like the skin too much when, when you have a beautiful skin like that. It's, uh, I it's love really the skin. Good. That's yeah. like my favorite part. A bit of garlic, some nice rosemary from the garden, and thyme. Some more butter, right? Yeah, let's not be cheap. We never have butter. enough butter. We have a French chef, so we're gonna use a lot of butter, huh? <laughs> yes. Kind of just letting those herbs and that garlic kind of infuse it real quick. Yeah. And now we're basting it, right? Yes. Ooh. Just to get all that flavor on it and doing that it's not going to do anything to your crust it's still going to stay crispy yes okay. yes because the butter is really hot so okay now we're going to go with the cauliflower risotto and some nice quenelle spoon that i stole from one of my chefs tonight <laughs> so did you, add, did you add butter to the risotto no just some cream okay 
So if you want to technically make this like vegetarian. Uh, not too much vegan. cream. Yeah. See that I had that little bottle and I just pour yeah, a little bit. bit. Just trying to play with the color as well, you know. Especially these days, everybody uh, likes to take pictures and share with their friends. <laughs> You can't eat it until you take your Instagram yes. pictures. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Squashes. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. Mm. What kind of fish was this, you said? So it's a local uh, white sea bass. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we, we work with a, a nice uh, fisherman and we really try to get local as much as we can. So this one is from Channel Island. Mm -hmm. Right now it's beautiful season for it. Just tastes amazing. And Chef had all the burners on at once. So that's a little trick that you have. So you can just go yes, ahead and put stuff on around. there, right? Bit of olive oil for... And then some beautiful. nice daisies from the garden. So are these edible? Yes, okay. everything is edible. <laughs> We don't like to put anything that you cannot eat on the plate, you know. <laughs> there you go. Voila. Well, Chef, thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having and me. Everyone, all our viewers, thank you so much for, for tuning in and being here with us today. Don't forget to go to perch.com to set an appointment if you want to come visit one of our showrooms. Um, so thank you. Have a good night, everyone. All right. I hope to see you soon at Rancho Bernardo in. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs>